Okay, so we're going to go over some nursing dosage problems that you probably won't see anytime in your near future, but I thought I'd share them with you anyway. Uh, the first thing is the easiest way to solve these problems is using the formula. The formula is D over H times Q. Um, D is the dose that's ordered, H is the dose on hand, and Q it represents the tablets or the milliliters. Um, when we say tablets, it could also mean caplets, capsules, caplets. Um, the biggest thing when it comes to the Q is that if it's tablets, it's only one. One tablet, one capsule, one caplet. Milliliter could be other numbers. It could be a one. It can be 0 0.5. The other thing is that the D and the H what's ordered and what you have on hand have to be in the same unit. In theory, it doesn't matter which unit you change it to, um, but usually they'll tell you to change the dose that's ordered into the matching unit. So, for example, just to break down a few things, that if it says, for the quantity, if it says 15 milligrams per milliliter, the slash means per, that means that there's 15 milligrams in one milliliter for the one that says two point sorry two micrograms per 0 0.5 milliliters then the quantity is 0 0.5 milliliters for the ones that are tablets those are the ones people struggle with so if it says if it says 25 milligram tablets then that means you have one tablet. That means that there's 25 milligrams in one tablet. The same with six microgram tablets. That means that there is six micrograms in one tablet. So tablets are always your one. Now here's a few practice problems. Um, so the order is for 1.8 grams of vancomycin and you have on hand 0 0.6 caplets. So what you're going to do is go ahead and set it up. Um, and they say that the first number is the dose that's ordered. I usually just say what's ordered over what's on hand times the quantity. So what's ordered is 1.8 grams. You always need to make sure to write the units. And on hand you have 0 0.6 grams per one caplet. Because for the caplets, there's only one. Tablets, capsules, caplets are always one. So then all you're going to do is go ahead and divide the 1.8 divided by the 0 0.6. And what happens is these units go away. They cancel or simplify. And when you do the division, you end up with 3. And the only unit left is capsules um, or caplets for this problem. Um, I would suggest that in your nursing courses, you go ahead and write the whole thing, three caplets. Now for this one, it says, and some of these you can do in your head. So it says, Zocor, you're going to get 60 milligrams to your patient. And you have 30 milligrams scored tablets. So per one tablet. Now in theory, scored doesn't mean anything. In, in reality, it means scored means you are able to break them in half. For these type of problems, that doesn't matter. They don't have to say scored tablets. So you're going to cancel the units that don't matter, and then you're going to do 60 divided by 30 gives you 2, and the only thing left is tablet. Make sure that you never write 2 milligram tablets, because if you notice, they're not 2 milligram tablets. They're 30 milligram tablets. So your final answer should only be the unit that's left. So that would be tablets. Okay, so for this one, nice and easy. Again, you have three milligrams is what's ordered. I didn't even put the medication. Um, over what you have on hand is 1.5 1 1 milligrams. And again, that's tablets, so that's one tablet. Cancel out the units that don't matter. Then you're going to do three divided by 1.5 and let's see, 1.5 should be 2, and you get 2 tablets. Now to get a little bit deeper into it, notice that your units do not match. 
So if you set it up, you'd have 2 grams over 500 milligrams. And that can't be true because these two units have to be the exact same thing. In theory, you could change either one. Mathematically, doesn't make a difference which one you change. But for this one, you should usually what they tell you is to change what's ordered. So we're going to change 2 grams into milligrams. And if you remember this from the stairs, a gram to a milligram is down the stairs 3. So 2 grams equals 2,000 milligrams. So then you're going to set it up. So what's ordered now is 2,000 milligrams. And what you have on hand is 500 milligrams. And again, it's for tablets, so it's per one tablet. And so two, these units cancel. 2,000 divided by 400 should be four tablets. Now to talk about milliliters. Um, if you have an order for 10 grams and on hand is 5 grams per milliliter, that means times 1 milliliter. Milliliter is the only one that have, could have different numbers. It could be 0 0.5 milliliters. It could be 10 milliliters. For this one, when it says per milliliter, it means 1 milliliter. So you cancel the units. 10 divided by 5 gives you 2, and the unit you're left with is milliliter. And I believe this is the last one. And again, you have milliliters. But the biggest thing is, again, your units do not match. They suggest to take what's ordered and convert it. So I'm going to convert 0 0.5 grams into milligrams. So from a gram to a milligram is down the stairs 3. And I end up with 500 milligrams. So that's now what is ordered, 500 milligrams over what you have on hand, 250 milligrams times, and again, you got to use the number they give you, 2 milliliters. So those cancel, and you do 500 divided by 250, which gives you 2, but you also got to remember to multiply by the 2 milliliters. So you end up with your answer, 4 milliliters. Milliliters are the only ones that you need to be overly concerned about. Um, that is just a rough introduction to what your dosage problems will look like. If you do want to do any to get extra help, the best suggestion is what they call dosagehelp.com. Um, dosage help.com you just want to make sure that you're doing the 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 ones that say tablet or milliliters. They do have more detailed one like milliliters an hour or GTTs a minute, but you are not at that point. You want to go work with tablets or milliliter dosing. And for this milliliter dosing, what this means is your injection. Um, when you're working with down here the milliliters an hour and the GTTs per minute, that has to do with an IV bag. So you only care about the, the and, and no matter what they ask you, whenever they ask you this, that means what are you going to give your patient now? If they're prescribed 0 0.5 grams and you're gonna, you have 250 milligrams and 2 milliliters, they want to know every single time the question is, what, do you gonna, what are you going to give your patient? What are you going to give your patient right now? How many tablets are you going to give them? How many milliliters are you going to give them? Um, so that's just a brief introduction of what um, dosage problems would look like in your future. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something.